What's up guys, Romsko here. So audio is super important to me, and when making keyboard videos, it's crucial that the sound is good and not distorted so that you guys can hear what the keyboard switches actually sound like. A lot of typing tests, including mine, sound kind of weird because either a mic is bad or it's in a poor recording position. And today I have the ultimate mic that everyone should be getting, and it's not only perfect for your voice, but also perfect for your keyboard. This is the $60 mount of microphone, and this setup has everything you need for amazing audio. And I'm not gonna waste your time with an unboxing video, so here's everything inside the box. We have the microphone, an extendable rod with a hefty metal base, a shock mount, a foam windscreen, a pop filter, and a USB-B cable. So this is the entirety of the microphone. It's fully made of metal, with some glossy accents on the logo ring and the interface panel. And it definitely shares an aesthetic similar to the Audio-Technica AT2020s. On the bottom, it does have a metal USB-B port, which is probably the worst thing about this microphone. It's 2021 and these guys are still making ports like it's 1996. Come on. So let's set up this microphone real quick. Assembly is super simple. You just need to screw in the extendable rod onto the metal base, then put the shock mount on top. Then you want to open up the clamp of the shock mount and insert the microphone right into the middle. Then you can finish it all off by putting on a foam windscreen or putting on a pop filter. As for controls, all we have is a touch-sensitive mute button with an LED, as well as a mic gain knob which dials in the sensitivity of the microphone. For my testing, you should put it at the 2 o'clock mark because it gives you the best mic sensitivity as well as having the least amount of background noise. What's great about this mute feature is that it doesn't clip your audio when you turn it on and off, which can be an issue on headsets where you have a manual switch and every time you click on it to unmute and mute, your friends can actually hear it on Discord for example, and it can get really annoying. So if I were to hold a note right now and turn the mute on and off, you will be able to hear a clean audio cut. And that's a clean cut. Even with the Blue Yeti microphone, it does have a tactile mute button. So every time you unmute, it does make an unpleasant click sound that can get pretty annoying. So now you know why the Mono microphone has a better mute feature. What's great about this microphone is that it's built like a tank and you don't have to spend any more money on accessories to make it sound good because it's all already here. The microphone is easily mounted and thanks to the extending rod, even if you're tall or short, you can extend it to your preferred height. And the reason why this microphone is so good for keyboard typing tests is because you have a joint here that you can loosen up and it lets you flip the mic down in the most perfect position for you to start doing your keyboard sound tests. And thanks to the shock mount, any vibrations or subtle hits towards the stand will be barely noticeable. And because it has a thin neoprene foam, it also protects your mic. And with a foam windscreen and a pop filter, you no longer have to worry about annoying plosives. If you don't know what a plosive is, it's a phonetic term that describes the motion your mouth makes when you make a B or a P noise, where a burst of air comes out and if that air hits the diaphragm of the microphone, it can distort it, which is similar to what happens when you blow into a microphone. So if I were to say, Pokemon, Pocket Pals, Pooh Bear, Breaking Bad, you hear all those pops from the B's and the P's. But with a pop filter or a foam windscreen, you can effectively eliminate all those pops. So for example, Pokemon, Pocket Pals, Pooh Bear, Breaking Bad. All the plosives are all gone now. With a foam windscreen, you want to be around 4 inches away from the microphone when speaking, and with a pop filter, you want to place it generally around a fist away from the microphone to reduce plosives. And you don't have to do both at the same time unless you want to go overkill and make sure you have no plosives. But generally, one or the other is good enough. So this is the sound test for the Blue Yeti microphone. Right now we are around 6 to 8 inches away from the diaphragm of the mic, with a pop filter on, obviously, to reduce any plosives. We are at the lowest gain setting, so it's going to have the least amount of background noise when it comes to talking, which is usually one of the best features about this microphone. It does have a low gain, but you're still able to hear your voice pretty damn well. So now we're on the mount of microphone at around the same distance, at around 6 to 8 inches away from the diaphragm, with a foam windscreen, obviously, to reduce plosives. Our mic gain setting is at around 2 o'clock to 2.30, which I found to be the most optimal for voice and background noise. I tried to match the voice volume the same as the Blue Yeti so I could be as controlled as possible and this is what I could get in my testing. So what do you guys think? It sounds pretty good I think. 
overall, pretty good sound quality. And even though I'm free-handedly holding this microphone, thanks to the shock mount, you don't hear much shaking or any disruptions like that. Which is why this entire setup is super great. You get everything you need for a good setup and you have no compromises whatsoever. So what do you guys think? A worthy microphone here? It may seem a little expensive at the very beginning, but keep in mind you don't have to buy any more accessories to make the audio sound good after buying this single product. And I think it works pretty well for anyone who's starting to get interested in making videos or anything related to audio. Who knows how long we're going to be working online and going to school online. Might as well have some good audio quality for your voice. That's been it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.